Hello guys, Omni here. Before we jump back into things, I want to remind everybody to check out the Stardust app and follow me there if you want my initial reactions right after seeing a movie or TV show or trailer. There's a lot of things that I post on there that I don't get to react to or talk about here on the channel, so feel free to check that out. It's free to download, free to sign up, and you can also post your own 30-second reactions to whatever it is that you're watching. All right, gang, we left off on Jay and Silent Bob Reboot, and it's time to jump into the next thing that I wanted to check out, uh, especially after hearing that this was going to be a thing that's getting made and how they're doing it and the people involved is the live action theatrical cats movie because when i heard they were doing that I, my first thought was like are they going to try to make these real cats and do like an actual realistic live action take on it but nope they're doing a cgi live action humanoid cat movie like it is on the stage play, but with CGI and special effects and creating this world from the point of view of dancing and talking cats. So we're going to go ahead, pull up this trailer because I can't wait. I have no idea what to expect with this. So here we go. I mean it. Oh, gee. It's so weird, but enchanting at the same time. The streets look beautiful. I honestly don't know how I feel right now. I love this song, though. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I thought that was Judy Dench. <laughs> yeah, Idris Elba. <laughs> of course. I know all the songs, but I, I've never actually seen it. <laughs> what the crap? Are you going to try for a different life? Well, I am a little speechless at the moment. I'm not, like I said, it's so strange and bizarre, but there's something mesmerizing about how it looks, the effects, the, the way they move, the way they dance, the way they carry themselves, their mannerisms. It's really, for me, hypnotizing in a way, because it's, like I, it's so jarring and weird, but it's also beautiful, gorgeous. The, the, the soundtrack of Cats is just iconic. Um, I grew up, I was a choir kid. I was in show choir. I danced, I sang, I did all of that great stuff. And uh, then I, you know, went to college, got my art degree, and here we are. Great life decisions. <laughs> but I, I, I've, I've never seen the actual stage play. I really don't know all of the story. 
I really just know the songs. That's a lot of the people that I was in choir with definitely loved this. Uh, one of my closest friends was obsessed with this movie. And, uh, you know, I've, I've heard a lot of different versions of this, these songs, and it, they've got a rocking cast that is going to definitely have some powerhouse acting chops. And then they've got a bunch of people in there as well that have some powerhouse vocals. Um, so I'm interested in seeing where this is going to go and how this actually performs. Um, I'll, pr I'll probably check this out this, when this drops, when this is in theaters. It looks interesting. This looks like something you definitely want to watch on a big screen because of this set. And I don't even know how much you could even call them sets because I'm... I know they they did build some practical sets for these, like huge chairs, huge tables, and all that stuff, so that everybody, the actors or whatever, you know, looked tiny and like had to climb on things and whatever, much like they did in the stage show. But the, it it it's so freaking rich the the environments that they're building with the CGI around it all that it just. It looks like this amazing spectacle piece that is just going to be messing with your brain throughout the entire thing. Um, lots of small details, lots of great movement action with all of the people involved, the cast, the choreography, the music itself. Um, this could be a really iconic thing. I know that the, this we've we haven't really had. I think the Greatest Showman really kind of. Uh, bolstered the interest in like a uh, stage production level musical theatrical movie. Um, we haven't really had one in a long time up until that. Um, and after this, I, I can't remember if it's supposed to come out next year or the year after, but they've been talking about it for years, but it's finally being produced is a live action theatrical version of Wicked, and I cannot wait for that. I've read a, I've read the book, I've seen most of the stage play. I would love to actually see it in person, but I haven't had that opportunity. I do have all the soundtracks for it, and I I, I just love that whole show. I love the story of it. I love what it's about. Um, the book more so than the musical because the book is way, way more messed up. And uh, the, the stage play, of course, has a little more uh, whimsical edge to it than the book does, which is just a, a torturous, depressing journey through s just political satire, man. It's rough. It's... it's it's a good read. I'll say that. And if you don't know what it is, it's essentially about how the Wicked Witch of the West from The Wizard of Oz, how she grew up and she was actually, tra it's, it's kind of like what, I would say it's kind of like what they're doing with Joker, except we, we, we follow her and her, what causes her to end up being the Wicked Witch of the West. And it's really interesting, really tragic, and I freaking love it. Um... Back to cats. Like I said, this looks beautiful. I thought the idea of it would be really weird, and just from the stills, it looked really weird from what they showed today before we actually watched the trailer here a couple minutes ago. In motion, it doesn't look that bad. It look doesn't look weird at all. Uh, it's really visually interesting to me, and I can't wait to see this on the big screen. So we're going to end it here, and I want to know what you guys think. Uh, have you seen the musical? Do you know any of the songs? What's your favorite musical if you have one? Um, so, yeah, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought. If you liked the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to support the channel. If you didn't like it, let me know in the comments what you didn't like. And uh, we're going to move on from here. We got more Comic-Con coming in our way. Uh, today was just the first slow day. So we're, there's definitely going to be more to come. There's a couple of other things I may or may not check out here today, but we'll be trying to keep up with whatever's coming out. So keep an eye out for more San Diego Comic-Con trailer news. Catch you guys later.